Our planet Earth is alive. It moves, and has been doing so for many years. The top portion of the Earth, the crust, is divided into several pieces, called tectonic plates. Earlier, these plates were joined together in what is known as Pangaea. However, being in constant movement, the tectonic plates continued moving until they reached the form that we have today. Tectonic plates move closer to each other, move apart, or slide past each other. In doing so, energy is accumulated, which is eventually released in the form of earthquakes. This released energy is known as the magnitude. Generally speaking, smaller magnitude earthquakes are more frequent than larger magnitude earthquakes. Some earthquakes occur near the surface, while others are deeper. In Colombia, where several tectonic plates interact, earthquakes occur every day. However, most earthquakes are so small in magnitude that we cannot perceive them. The Abura Valley is surrounded by mountains. These mountains, like many other mountains around the world, are formed by the collision of tectonic plates. There are areas where there is greater seismic activity, known as faults. In the valley, the closest is the Romarao Fault System. The Ciada project of the Abura Valley metropolitan area has a network of sensors that record earthquakes. Some sensors are on the ground, while other sensors are in buildings. When a strong earthquake occurs, information is sent to the risk management authorities. In the Abura Valley, there are 4 million inhabitants in a variety of buildings. The buildings, along with the sewage system, bridges, roads, and other lifelines and utilities, form the infrastructure inventory of our city. If we focus on buildings, there are a great variety. Tall, short, slender, robust, old, and new. Some buildings have walls, others have beams and columns. Additionally, the buildings are built with different types of materials. Depending on the materials, the design, and the way they are constructed, buildings may or may not have the ability to withstand an earthquake. The Abura Valley is an area with a medium seismic hazard, hazard, with a high concentration of inhabitants in different types of structures, exposure, and with some constructions that are not prepared to withstand an earthquake, vulnerability. The combination of these three factors, hazard, exposure, and vulnerability, generate seismic risk. Seismic risk is the possible human, material, economic, or environmental loss caused by an earthquake. Remember, seismic hazard is different from seismic risk. The hazard refers to how likely it is that an earthquake will occur, generating movements that are felt within a given location. On the other hand, the risk refers to the possibility that this movement will affect people and infrastructure. Therefore, it is very important to know our risks, to be prepared, and know how to respond in the events of an earthquake.